11th play coming up here. Cornelius on the draw. Ran for two scores last week. Finds one this week. Oklahoma State on the board first. And what, what that tempo does is not only make you simplify your defense, because you got to line up quickly, and not all the guys are on the same page, but it also wears you out. This time to sneak up the middle. Is McClendon in? He is. And Aaron, it's a great answer by this Baylor offense. They had some issues on the last drive on defense. It looked like Oklahoma, Oklahoma State was going to put together a nice drive to get some points that separates him and getting after the quarterback. And more impressively, he won the football team dunk contest as this is blocked and taken back to the house. Chad Kelly, the block. Byron Hansbard able to score the go-ahead touchdown, 13-10 Baylor. And Baylor has not been great at returning punts as of late. But a big reason is they're trying to get there. They're trying to get a block. They're not holding up at the line of scrimmage. They're trying to rush and get their hands up and make a play. They almost got there on the last one. And this one, they get home and make a game-changing play to take the lead before the half. I think it's Ebner who comes up with that block. 11th play of the drive. They can pick up a first down at the four. Swinging out Tyler Wallace. Wallace, eyes towards the pylon. He bulldozes his way in for the touchdown. There is a flag on the play near side of the field, away from where the touchdown was scored. Offside, defense, number 13 was lined up in the neutral zone. Penalty is declined, result of the play. It's touchdown. Wallace, the man of motion. Get it in his hands quickly. He throws it back to Cornelius. He tucks. He runs. He's got it. He wants more inside the 10. A really well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. So much talent in this backfield. He's a guy that probably would start for a lot of other teams in the Big 12. On second and goal to the air, to the end zone. Tylen Wallace, second time he has found the end zone today. Helping to extend things further for Oklahoma State, 23-14. Did not start today, was concussed last week against West Virginia, but cleared. They'll start things off on the ground to John Lovett. Love it to the 30, love it to the 10, all the way to the house for the score. 75 yards. Well, that quarterback change was a great idea. <laughs> It can manifest itself in a number of different ways, and we haven't seen John Love at the last few weeks as much as we've seen Jamichael Hasty and even Charlie Brewer run the football. But you asked his coaching staff about his one-cut ability and his ability to make guys miss in the open field like he did right there when he gets into that second level with a full head of steam. No chance that that defensive back for Oklahoma State is going to make that tackle. First to goal to two. Hill surges ahead. Oklahoma State extends the lead. Hill over 100 yards today. And now a touchdown. Now they get it off in time. Sets, fires, sideline, fires. Heard for the first down. Heard on his feet into the end zone. What a catch and run. 36 yards for Jalen Hurd. Now, what's the play called here? Fourth and three. Justice Hill is the running back. Stoner in motion. Cornelius rolls. Pressure on his feet. And he is brought down. What a stand by this Baylor defense. Looking Mims way. Mims! What a sensational catch for the go-ahead score! <laughs> he 
His first catch today has put Baylor on top with seven seconds remaining. I think his playtime had been minimized today as a result of getting young guys on the field, but that is how you throw a goal line fade if you're Charlie Brewer. Put that thing on a line, 